Trinity family. Have you heard the word? What's the word? Today comes from Philippians 419. Now Frederick and I want to welcome another Trinity kid on a faith adventure. Hey, yay, cool beans. So are you ready to share a word today? Yes. Do we have all we need to share a word today? Yes, we have all we need. All right, so here we go. And you know, it's got to have actions. Here we go. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs. We're going to do this again. This is Paul speaking to the church in Philippi. All right, so here we go. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs. Very good. So question for you. Do you guys go on a summer trip? Yes, we do. What do you love about it? I love hanging out with my family and my cousins. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. You know, we go on a trip too, love it. But the part that is so hard for me is packing. Because I try to pack everything, but inevitably forget something. And you know what it's like to be somewhere and say, oh, we need that and we don't have it. Well, in today's word, Paul is reminding us that God takes care of all of our needs, spiritually and materially. Now, Paul was actually on a trip, a missionary trip, where he wanted to share Jesus Christ with the entire world and build up the church. Can you imagine packing for that? And how do you pay for that? So in this passage, he is actually thanking the church in Philippi saying, you have been so generous in helping take care of me while I'm on these travels because they just kept giving and giving. But Paul did say to them, whenever I am in need, it is God who gives me strength and supplies what I need and helps me be content and satisfied. Now, I think we can relate to this in saying, there are times when we think we know what we need. And when we don't have it, we, we become discontented and dissatisfied. We think we need more, we need less, we need something different. But we know, God knows what we need best. And ultimately, he knew we needed Jesus to pay the price for our sins so we can have forgiveness and life eternal. Our God truly does provide all of our needs. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just want to praise you right now for who you are. Thank you for being a great provider. Yes. And Lord, we want to say sorry. Sorry for when... Um, I want things my own way and I can be discontented and not satisfied with what you've already provided. Thank you for being a great forgiver. Yes, thank you. And thank you for family trips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Lord, we also wanna just take this time to ask you for requests. We ask Lord that you, being the only one that can do this, would you satisfy our soul so that we look to you for our needs first and foremost. And Lord, we're gonna pray all these things in the powerful name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen? Amen! Yes, thank you, that was such a good amen. So now we're gonna play What's the Par? Can you say that? What's the Par? All right, well yesterday, drum roll for me. Can you do a drum roll? Okay, yesterday, where was I? I'm already forgetting, oh yes. Yesterday, I was at Walt Bittner Park on Rave Road. It has a little park, a big park. It has really cool basketball courts and a huge green space. Check it out. Now, here's our park today. I'm just going to give you a hint. Matthew really likes this park. So you can check that out there. Hint, hint, what's back there. And then we're going to go across a little construction action going on. But then you can see fun park action right there. All right, so we are saying, uh, here we go. <laughs> Have a satisfied Wednesday. Word up. God bless. Bye.